Hey CPA candidates, if you found this video, then you probably heard that the BEC section of the CPA exam is having multiple choice questions on SQL commands. So what I've done is I've prepared six multiple choice questions that we'll run through and they'll touch on the different type of SQL commands that you should be familiar with for the exam. Now, before we dive into that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you are looking for some Facebook study groups, the links to the universal groups are in the description and then sign up for a free trial. If you haven't tried it yet, just see for yourself how powerful visual learning can be. So let's get started. So fairly beefy question here, but it's just saying that uh, basically a new member joined the technology department of InsureTech. David, which is the CTO, is adding access to the database for the new team member. Which type of data control language command would David use to add access? Right, when we're talking about access or permission for a relational database, we're talking about DCL commands, which stands for data control language, right? And the two main ones there are grant or revoke. Well, if we need to add access, we are going to grant access to the new member, right? So grant command would be the correct answer. So this is asking about which type of DDL command in SQL would be used to delete certain information in a table, but not delete the table in the relational database, right? So a DDL command, well, DDL stands for data definition language, and DDL commands are used to manage rows and columns in a database, right? Basically just manage the database. So let's say that we want to delete specific information like rows or columns in a table, but we don't want to delete the table itself, right? Because if we want to delete the table, we would use the drop function. But if we only want to delete certain information, we would use the truncate command, right? So truncate command is going to be the correct answer here. So in this question, we're focused on TCL commands in SQL. Right, TCL commands, that's one of our four categories of commands, and it stands for transaction control language, right? So this is managing transactions. And when we bring up our visual on the three common TCL commands, we have save point, commit, and rollback. Well, when we look through rollback and save point, that's the only uh, correct pair of options here. And rollback really means that we restore to the last commit, which is basically the last hard save. And then save point, that temporarily saves a transaction in a database while we are working on it until we use the commit command to fully save that transaction. So the correct answer is gonna be rollback and save point. So this question is asking about which of the following categories of SQL commands would be used to change access or permissions for specific users at a company that uses a relational database. So when we think about the four main categories of commands, well, we have data definition language, we have data manipulation language, we have data control language, and we have transaction control language. Well, the correct category is going to be DCL commands, right? We're talking about data control. We wanna control the data and so the two main commands are gonna be grant and revoke, right? We can either add access permission or we can remove access or permission, right? And that is how we control the data. And this is really just saying, do we have proper security or whatever you wanna call it, right? So the correct answer is going to be data control language. So in this question, it says, which of the following commands would be used to make updates performed by the transaction permanent in the database? When we're talking about making uh, transactions either permanent or they're temporary, right? We're talking about TCL commands, which is the category that's used to manage transactions in the database. And we can see we have save point, commit, and rollback, right? Those are the three common types of TCL commands. So when it comes to TCL commands, let's say that you're working on a database. Well, while you're working on it, you might want to temporarily save a transaction and that would be save point. But when you get to the end of it and you're like, I'm super comfortable with what I have, I want to permanently make these changes, that is when you would use the commit command, right? Just like in a relationship, things have been going well, all of a sudden your significant other proposes and you go to commit 
to that relationship, right? So that is going to be uh, what would make a transaction permanent. So a commit command is the correct answer. So in this question, we're being asked about which of the following categories of SQL commands would be used to manage the structure of columns and rows in the database. All right, so this is either going to be adding, deleting, modifying rows. And when we think about the four different types of command categories, right? Well, here they are on the screen. We have DDL, DML, DCL, and TCL. So the question is, which one of those categories really relates to the structure and columns of rows in a database? Well, the command category that allows us to manage the structure of columns and rows in a database is going to be data definition language, right? DDL commands. And we can see here are the five common types of DDL commands, and they all relate to, you know, creating or modifying uh, tables and rows in a database. So the correct answer is going to be data definition language, right? Just remember, we need to define the columns and rows in our database, and that allows us to then go ahead and manage that database properly.